Okay, my favorite lipsticks. I found a dupe because they're really expensive <laughs> or like relatively. Okay, so if I had to choose my favorite formulas, they would be are fantastic. If you've seen my previous videos where I've used them, I was blown away. I mean, just creamy, velvety, matte goodness. They last obsessed. Terrible swatch. This is Velvet Fawn. The thing that's nice about them is that they have a matte finish, but they're incredibly comfortable on the lips. When you touch them, they are literally ve that. They are velvet. Uh, they are called the... Wait, what are they called? The Velvet Mattes, I think. If I had to pick another favorite, because the formula is very similar, it's another very expensive lipstick, and it is Pat McGrath. This one is Divine Rose. It's like similar-ish to Velvet Fawn, maybe a little bit more pinky. Um, I find the, the the Pat McGrath formulas to be ever so slightly more like lightweight, maybe a little more hydrating. So that's Divine Rose next to Velvet Fawn. So the Pat McGrath lipsticks retail for $38 on Sephora and Lisa Eldridge lipsticks retail for $35, but you can't get them at Sephora. They are only on lisaeldridge.com. So kind of significant, right? Now I found a dupe for these lipsticks and they are the Revlon Super Lustrous, <laughs> what? Lustrous lipsticks. This is in the shade Untold Stories. This is one of my favorite nude lipsticks. Now, see, I just swatched it. I don't know why I didn't swatch it on camera. I'm going to swatch it again. Anyway, so this is in the shade, this one right here. This is in the shade Untold Stories. So we have Lisa Eldridge Velvet, wait, was it Velvet Fawn? Velvet Fawn or Velvet Muse? Now I've got two of them. Yeah, Velvet Muse is darker. It's really beautiful though. Okay, so that's Velvet Muse, Lisa Eldridge, Velvet Fawn, Lisa Eldridge, Divine Rose, Pat McGrath, and Untold Stories. So you can see that Pat McGrath is a little bit more like uh, shiny, the matte shade, but like I should have swatched this on camera because it's, look at how creamy it is. Look at how creamy it is. Ooh, it's so beautiful. My only, the only difference between these formulas is that Revlon is ever so slightly like <sighs> lightweight, not quite as thick. Vel uh, Untold Stories is the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now. I absolutely love it. It's the perfect nude. I'm wearing, I'm literally wearing it as my blush as well. It's so beautiful. So if you are looking for a dupe for these lipsticks, like if you have just been like lusting over the Pat McGrath or the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, these little, literally retail for between four and eight dollars. You can get them at Ulta, Target, like drugstores. They are absolutely stunning and they have an array of shades that compare. So for instance, so this one right here is Velvet Morning, which is a beautiful like fiery red from Lisa Eldridge. <sighs> so beautiful. Velvet Morning. And then we have On Fire from Revlon, which is very similar. Let's see if I can do this swatch on. I'm so bad at this. Do you see the payoff that that has? Absolutely stunning. Beautiful color, lightweight, like, I mean, is there a difference really? It's, a, it's hard to even tell. The swatch was absolutely incredible. I've been wanting to share this with you for a really long time and I don't know why I haven't, but I think it's important to finally do it because the price difference is astronomical astronomical why did that sound so weird anyway that's it that's all this video really is i just wanted to show you the difference i guess i can do some lip swatches since we're here so i'm gonna line my lips with melt it's a pretty fire lip liner <laughs> all right first i'm gonna go in with velvet morning by lisa eldridge i should have done like a split i'll do that Velvet Morning, Lisa Eldridge, beautiful, obsessed, perfect color. All right, and on this side, I'm gonna do On Fire. This is 007, Revlon. Can you tell the difference? If I'm looking at it, I feel like Lisa Eldridge is ever so slightly more orangey. And maybe there's a tiny bit more red, but I'm pretty sure we found a perfect dupe here. All right, guys, that's it. I basically just wanted to share with you 
that because I feel like that's pretty ridiculous. Like I'm looking at myself right now and it looks like I'm just wearing one with lipstick. Uh, I lost the cap. I don't know where it went. <laughs> How did that happen so quickly? Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any other dupes for like your favorite lipsticks, let me know what they are down below. But these are my favorite lipsticks and I just feel like the price difference is like ridiculous. <laughs> so you definitely don't need to spend like 30 to $40 on a lipstick. You could just spend four to eight. I'll find the cap at some point. Uh, thanks for watching and let me know what you wanna see next. Bye.